So um, we're here in the um, North Gallery, and uh, Curtis Ross is uh, the person we're going to focus on next. And we're going to take the composition and continue it uh, with just a little explanation of light. And this is, I think this is a great uh, uh, exhibit um, to look at uh, the elements of, well, not just, you know, the balance and um, uh, balance, emphasis, and, you know, light, but, but the idea of uh, combination of all of those um, elements. Uh, when I first walked in here, uh, and, and for me, when I first approach a, a gallery, um, I, I basically just kind of stop, and if the room's small enough, like uh, our, our lovely gallery here, um, I stop and just kind of do a very cursory look, and then I kind of want to know or take note of my feeling. And the feeling when I walked in here was uh, just a tremendous, it was, I think it was gray and cloudy outside. I walk in here and I see these flowers and I had such a sense of joy that it was, it was quite, it was quite uh, uh, profound actually. It was very, um, I don't normally have a sense of, joy, that great amount of joy when I, I look at, at uh, uh, pieces. But this brought uh, a tremendous amount, just I think because of the uh, subject matter. And the subject matter that I looked at was, of course, the, the sunflowers and how beautiful they are. And he is just given, uh, in my estimation, uh, he's given so many facets of sunflowers, so many different kind views of of, um, of sunflowers, and it's oh okay, so it's a Vincent Van Gogh wannabe kind of thing. Well, no, really, it's not. You and if you want to compare the two, you can look at Vincent's sunflowers, and then you look at Ross's, um, and you see that his sunflowers. Some of them are alive and very, very healthy looking, and some of them are dying. Mm -hmm. Wow, that's kind of interesting for me anyway, <clears throat> just to, to depict uh, something that's uh, beautiful, alive, vibrant, and then the flip of that is uh, dying. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because. All things do that. <laughs> All things do that. So let's uh, let's look at the element of light here, and um, I am going to choose. Oh boy, let's because let's just choose this piece here. So element of light. What is it that uh, in the composition that tells you uh, that gives you an idea of how he is using? Always using light. Any ideas? Use the color yellow. Color yellow. Yeah, I mean, that smacks you. Uh huh. I'm a, I'm a quilter, an art quilter, and you never use that much yellow in an art quilt. Uh huh. The percentage is always very small. Because? Because your eye just keeps going around and around and around. Uh huh. And doesn't anchor. Uh huh. Uh huh. And is your eye anchoring anywhere in here? Well, it anchors here because of the green. Uh huh. Okay, yeah. yeah. If you didn't have that, it would be. Yeah. And there's more green than there is yellow. Mm -hmm. Okay, yeah. I think yellow is a hard color <laughs> if you're using it in art. How do you think, uh, uh, how, how well is he use, using that, uh, in your opinion? Oh, I think he does it excellent. Mm -hmm. Why do you say that? Um, because I could sit here and look at that for probably 15 minutes. Mm -hmm. If he wasn't doing a good job, it would be, I'd be out of here. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It would disturb my equilibrium. <laughs> uh -huh. Uh -huh. So do, does that bring in the uh, compositional element of balance? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. 
So what is it that about this piece particular that uh, is balanced? It's it balanced. Gives, that gives a, it brings about a feeling of balance. The two thirds of that is green. Two thirds of that is green. Uh -huh. And uh -huh. one third is, in my estimation, uh -huh. it's yellow uh -huh. and brown. The brown also breaks up that yellow. Uh -huh. And the, and also the um, the straight lines of the stems. Mm -hmm. And it brings it down to the earth. Yes, <laughs> yes. <clears throat> you see the earth. <clears throat> I also think the one very bright sunflower is balanced by the two in the same place on the other side. You're talking maybe this one here? Yes. Okay. And, and then those two aren't bright, but they're two, and to me, it balances it. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. They're just a little bit small, but not that much small. Yes. Mm -hmm. What are your thoughts about what he's done here? Oh. This, these three elements here, hmm. I think that balances out the three uh, large sunflowers up in the other right. corner. Right. Right. I agree. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it pulls it down. Uh huh. So he is really helping us with the elements that he's the size, the textures, the colors of our moving our eye around the piece uh, and keeping it in harmony, as far as I can see. Yeah. Yes. So there is therein is lies the whole thing about you know, again about touring, and that is uh, stopping looking, deconstructing, using compositional elements. And you don't have to go much further than that, really. Mm -hmm. uh, I think that if you wanted to tour, especially this show here, you would choose three pieces, and maybe a, three different pieces. Mm -hmm. um, you would choose uh, a sun, this is just my opinion, but choose a sunflower element, and a, a piece, and then you would choose maybe one of the other flower pieces. Uh, this in particular is quite stunning. Mm -hmm. But then, you know, if you look at, and I want to go over to, to this because we, we see this element here. Is, um, uh, it's giving us quite an anatomy of sunflowers. But if we go over here and we look at, uh, I'm just going to look at this one here. So if you see this, I mean, there is a tremendous difference, in my estimation, of, uh, of what he's, he's doing, very much so. I'm going to ask, uh, again, deconstructing, let's use a uh, composition, compositional element here, and that is, uh, where would be the focal point uh, of this piece? Where is the focal point of the piece? Is there one? Mm -hmm. I think so. Where is it? It's right smack. Here. To point to. It's right here. Mm -hmm. And why do you say that? Because that's where my eye is drawn. Uh huh. And then it's balanced out by the limbs that go this way. Uh huh. And then this one. Uh -huh. yeah. uh, I uh, would agree that for me, the focal point is right in here because of this Madrona mm -hmm. uh, piece that's coming out and it is uh, then branching off here, branching here, but then he's got all these other elements around it. Uh, this area here is what uh, really gave me uh, Kind of a, to ask questions of what? What is all that? What is that? Is it a nest? Is it an entangled uh, honeysuckle vine? Is you know because I we live in the San Juans here and we're very familiar with these trees, uh, but I don't think I've ever seen 
uh, this exact piece in nature. Talking about the sunflowers, I have. I've seen a, a, a tangle of, of sunflowers. But, but this, uh, I've just never seen all of the energy um, that he's uh, uh, promoting here with all of the texture. Um, he's just bringing it all together, compressing it, if you will. Yeah. And, it, you know, with madronas, I don't know if you have madronas on your property. We have five acres and we have a lot of madronas. But they, mm -hmm. they are always in many stages of shedding and uh -huh. bark coming out and uh -huh. leaves falling and then you have the tangle of the, the stems, etc. that are left. And I'm mm -hmm. wondering if that isn't what, on that one section, it's, it's dying, that part's dying. Mm -hmm. Okay. But I don't know. <laughs> it's obviously in a really heavily wooded area because those yes. other leaves yeah. are really aren't madrona leaves but they're other bushes or something mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, to me the, the whole piece just evokes so much energy mm -hmm. because there are all these uh, lines that dissect each other and, and yet there is a beautiful balance to it mm -hmm. uh, with uh, the use of I'm going to say light and dark, yeah. and if you just deconstruct it to that element, um, he's done a, a beautiful job with that, uh, and coloration as well, but definitely light and dark, coloration, and then uh, as with a lot of his, his outdoor pieces, he includes uh, the sky, the blue sky, hmm. and you can just come through, through the, oh, right, yeah. yeah. Just a little bit. It's so mm -hmm. interesting. Uh huh. So, what does that blue sky do, and feeling wise, what what do you think that blue sky does? It subdues it for me. Mm -hmm. Kind of settles it down. Does it give also a sense of place? Yes. Uh huh. Yeah. That oh yes. yeah. This is outdoors. Yeah. Yes. More so in that picture than the one. Yes. Yeah. But there's just, it's interesting. Mm -hmm. So, uh, one of the elements, too, is to the idea of um, walking into a thicket. Mm -hmm. And that's what I was thinking. Yeah. yeah. Walking into a thicket of madrone and madrona and uh, other leafy material. Uh, and it's a, he is bringing to us this very private space, invoking in me uh, this very uh, uh, secluded and private space. Why do I say that? And again, you know, if, if, if you were to ask, well, what is the feeling that this piece is invoking? I would say I'm walking into uh, a very secluded, and private space, and he is showing me this. Why do I say that? Because of all of the um, uh, concentration that he's condensed, all the leaf and the uh, uh, stems, trunk, he's just condensed all of it into this small format of, mm -hmm. of, of the picture. Mm -hmm. And so he's showing me one of his private little spaces. I think if it didn't have the sky, I would feel trapped. Aha. Uh -huh. Claustrophobic, maybe? Yes. Oh, yes. yes. Uh huh. Uh huh. Yeah. Whereas the painting in back of you would give you the opposite. Yes. The one on the left. Yes. Totally opposite. You want to go there. there. You want to go there and just be. Which one are we talking about? Oh, let me go over here. This one here. Yeah. You want to walk through that? It takes you in. Mm -hmm. So why do you say that? What is it about it that we want to go there? It gives a sense of calm. Uh -huh. Yes. Uh -huh. And uh, 
I think it's the light green mm -hmm. of the floor, mm -hmm. which is to me seems like it's moss mm -hmm. uh, and very um, airy. Yeah. yeah. And calm. Yes. Mm -hmm. I want to go there. <laughs> <laughs> It's really remarkable. Um, a lot of his uh, uh, paintings shows us or show us the the uh, the element of a, just a kind of a secluded uh, patch, if you will, of um, his his environment. So you know the wonderful thing about and you can investigate this for yourselves and I encourage you to do so the element of, uh, of um, the technique of photography and the technique of painting and the two uh, and this is what the photographers um, uh, started to solicit uh, in the early uh, 1900s and that is uh, photography is art and of uh, uh, framing uh, a visual just as a painter does. They're framing the visual. So. The other thing that I wanted to emphasize as far as touring is concerned is uh, waiting for people to talk. Yes. Mm. Just give it a little a little time. Yeah. And you'll figure out, you know, if there's like five minutes that go by and nobody says anything, then yeah, maybe you want to go down. <laughs> pick it up a little bit. <laughs> but give it some time. And because uh, it takes time to look and formulate uh, on a paper. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It does. And that's why you said you go through three times. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You'll be formulating it differently. Time. That's going to make a difference if you have any kids in here. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Because they'll leap out. They're not going to give you. I taught first grade, second grade. Yeah. They're not going to give you two seconds. No. <laughs> they haven't been. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. And that's one of the other logistics that we'll go through when we're touring children through the museum. You know, how do you do that? Uh, well, not how do you do that, but, you know, what are the ramifications of that? And, and some. If you've been a, a teacher of children in 35 years, maybe you should. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna yeah. call on you. <laughs> I'm still alive. <laughs> yeah, really, you live to tell about it. You're very much alive. Uh, that's great. Yeah. I would want to live with that one, but not that one. Because? Because that's a lot of work to look at. And it's tight. And it's busy. Very busy. And it's not welcoming to me uh -huh. as being in a place. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. And that one has all the positive. It's welcoming and it's not confusing. It's fun to watch how we balance things. <coughs> mm -hmm. You know, even the dead tree up close and the little trees to the side, mm -hmm. or more the middle, <coughs> um, the dead tree. It's fun to figure that one out. Mm. Take a picnic. Yeah, you could see yourself taking a picnic. Yeah, not now. No. <laughs> there wouldn't be any place to no sit. No sit. <laughs> right. Yeah. Yeah. So it, it takes time to, the first reaction is, of course, your feelings, but then to figure out, hmm, it's fun. And mm -hmm. do I see some water? Is that water there? Like a little lake, as I see, seem to see a reflection. Mm -hmm.
that I'm looking at right now is focus. Um, some elements are in focus and yes. other elements are out of focus. Even though, I mean, there's, there's this focal point here, right? Very, very much in focus. And then just off is this here that's kind of smudged and it's very much out of focus. And even right next to it though, these all of these pieces are in focus. So, and you can see here, uh, here, so, uh, and down here. So, is it focus or is it because it's moss? Could be moss. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. At first, I didn't think it was moss. Now I think it's moss. <laughs> so, on the same side of the tree. Yes. Mm -hmm. I mean, the whole green. The other element that I'm looking at now is if he didn't put in the trees that were standing upright, he's got this one tree that looks like it's going to fall over. And of course, it's this one right here. This is the main element of the piece for me anyway. Uh, it looks like it's going to fall over. So it's kind of out of balance. But because of all these others, uh, pretty much, uh, you know, vertical pieces that it helps to uh, offset this because I'm looking at this and I'm, and I'm, oh, wow, I hope it doesn't fall over. Mm -hmm. um, and also, what is all this? It's sort of visceral looking, mm -hmm. very yeah, anatomically <laughs> visceral. And so that's interesting. And it's dead. What about the trees in the back that are little spindly things with horizontal? Just those are obviously dead. Yeah. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> you mean these pieces here that are horizontal? Uh huh. Oh, that yes, those are mm -hmm. way up in this. Uh huh. Mm -hmm. I mean, they're. He seems to put different stages of the tree in one. Yes. One. He's giving us the whole uh, life cycle, if you yeah. will. Same with the sunflowers. Right. It's the whole life cycle, um, which is, is interesting. And if you look around the room, especially behind us, we've got the vegetables. Uh, they're also, you'll see ones that are uh, somewhat uh, fresh looking and then others that are somewhat in a state of decay. And that is nature. Mm -hmm. Of all mm -hmm. living things. Mm -hmm. Yeah, of all living things. Well, he seems to do that in all of the figures, doesn't he? Uh -huh. yeah. yeah, he's got things in full out bloom, full of life, and then um, seeds, mm -hmm. seed pods. Mm -hmm. yeah. Good. Thank you.